Can you imagine the former president, Donald Trump, selling Bible, make America pray again Bible, as he say we want to present and defend our Christian faith and value? Can you imagine that? A man who says he never had to pray and ask God for forgiveness because he, he, he never think he has done anything wrong that he need to ask for forgiveness. Do you know if he knows anything in the Bible, any, any verse in the Bible? The other, the other day he couldn't say which of the testament he preferred. He said, oh, maybe equally. Can you imagine he is now selling Bible with the flag on the cover, the American flag on the cover? Not only that, but it also contains the, the Constitution uh, written somewhere or, or, or labeled in the, in the Bible that he's selling right now. Can you imagine that? How did we get here that, that the Bible has become politicized? Uh, how did the evangelicals or the Christians who, who have let down our guards and have fallen for every little thing until we are linking up with the former president who has no Christian values, never been to church, don't have a relationship with God that anyone know of. But now his next step is to be selling Bible to present our Christian values. Where have you seen that? It annoys me because we have we have let down our guards and we have become so gullible that that we are we are buying everything. If it says God or if it says Bible, we all fall for it. Where 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 when are we gonna get to the place where the Bible says try spirits and know if they are of God? Take a look at this. I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend Lee Greenwood. Who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents. Yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day. Christians are under siege, but must protect content that is pro-God. We love God. I'm proud to endorse and encourage you to get this Bible. We must make America pray again. I think you all should get a copy of God Bless the USA Bible now and help spread our Christian values with others. Really, really, that's what Christianity comes to now, as shallow and as narrow as, as it is right now. I, I remember, you know, him making reference to two Corinthians. I have, I have never heard him say anything substantial about God, the Bible, or Christian living, unless he was reading from a teleprompter. But now he finds some virtue and some value in 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 helping somebody to develop or to promote a Bible because. What's the driving force behind that? I'm curious. Take a look at these clips when he is reading from a teleprompter that somebody wrote for him and how stiff he is by looking at it and trying to appear Christian, calm and tranquil. And look at when he is, is, is his natural self. Take a look at this. Jesus Christ inspires us to love one another. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters. With hearts full of generosity and grace. Why do I have to ask for forgiveness if you're not making mistakes? Scripture teaches us the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. If you see somebody getting ready to throw a tomato, knock the crap out of it. The Bible, my second favorite book is The Art of the Deal, but it's not even close. Actually, I was only kidding. You can get the baby out of here. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, 317. That's the whole ball game. You know what is sad and unfortunate? Many of us are gonna fall for it. Many of us are gonna fall for this fall, false pretense. What appears to be Christianity and Christian values and we're going to buy this Bible and we're going to walk around with it and, and we're going to make America pray again. I wonder if anybody has ever seen or heard the former president actually prayed. 
like a man who has a relationship with God. I'm afraid many of us have, have, have caused this to get to where it is. Remember the last in the last um, election coming up? How many of, of our, our ministers were prophesying and declaring that thus said the Lord God that, that he's going to be the president and, and, and they're prophesying and declaring and, and they're laying hand on him and praying for him. Take See, see, see an example of it here. Let's pray together, may we? Yes. Father, your word says, if your people who are called by your name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face, you will forgive their sins and heal their land. His spirit, soul, and body. And Father, I release wisdom from heaven. And I declare, God, that you use them to change the spiritual atmosphere of this nation. Father, I give you the praise and I give you the honor. You're calling, given victory after victory, victory after victory. We declare that no weapon formed against him will be able to prosper. And every demonic altar that has been erected against him will be torn down. We declare declared that he will rise high and he is seated in heavenly places. Surround him with people of prayer and let him walk out the will of God. In Jesus' name, and everybody shout it. Nothing is wrong with praying for those in authority. As a matter of fact, the Bible demands that we pray for those in authority. But when we, when we, when we join the propaganda and we try to make it look like the Spirit of God is manifesting and God is speaking to us and we are saying, false thing that has not been verified and has not come to, to fruition, we, we, we deceive ourselves and we deceive others and we, we create hypocrisy and we cause ourselves to be thought of as irrelevant and not really true and sincere because when we come up and say, thus said the Lord and it didn't happen before our very eyes, we minimize the power of God. We got to get it together because if we don't, it's going to get worse and God's going to hold us accountable for our negligence. May God help us.